Richard Sharp in Maryville as well. Uh, let's check in with him. What's uh, the latest up there, Richard? We're on 136 Highway, and uh, you can see behind me this uh, river uh, completely flooded and jumped the banks here. This is uh, normally a cornfield, but I, I want to show you, I mean, look, look how much water is there. And this was up over the road. So you can see evidence that the water just came up over the road there and basically just combed everything down. Uh, and uh, all this debris got caught up in this guardrail. So the water was up over this high at one point just a couple hours ago. So that's what we're dealing with. And that's why this is closed. Uh, it is now passable, even though the road is technically closed. Uh, people are driving around the cones and coming across the bridge. Uh, but it is raining again, so there's some concern from the Sheriff's Department and the Police Department uh, that this could uh, again rise, depending on what the rain does, and flood it out again. We, we drove it around Maryville, uh, and we've seen a couple of other roads that were closed, and nothing as significant as this. This is one of the rivers here uh, that really just surged with all of that rain that came down overnight, and uh, about a 5 to 10 foot difference from what it is now, just completely flooding this section of 136 High way out. So they're dealing with that this morning as it starts to rain again. There is some concern as far as the damage. There isn't much around town. We've heard of one or two houses that have been flooded, uh, but we haven't been able to find them. We'll continue to look for that and see if there are any other impacts to either businesses or other roadways that are closed in the area. For now, reporting live in Nowaday County, I'm Richard Sharp, 41 Action News.